dilution schemes and seeing how they relate to microbiology. A dilution scheme can be used to compare more than one sample and basically by diluting the original sample you can see the amount of colony forming units whereas if it wasn't diluted there would be a ton more colonies and they wouldn't be counted. So this is an example of a dilution scheme. Basically over here is the original sample and each time there's a milliliter pipetted into the next one. So for the first one it's going to be 1 milliliter to 9 milliliters. So 1 plus 9 is 10. So it's going to be 1 over 10 equaling 10 to the negative 1. So here's the DF or the dilution factor. For the next one you're going to take that 10 to the negative 1 or 1 over 10 and you're going to multiply it by this one which is also 1 to 9 being 1 over 10. Those are multiplied together to get 10 to the negative 2. You're going to take that 10 to the negative 2 or you can keep it separated as 1 over 10 times 1 over 10 but it's pretty simple to just keep it as 10 to the negative 2 and you're going to again multiply it by 1 over 10 because it's the 1 and the 9 and it's going to equal 10 to the negative 3. Okay, we're going to move on to the next problem. So, same thing with this example. You're going to have the original sample, and you're going to put one milliliter each time into the next test tube. So here, just as we had in the first example, we're going to have 1 and 9 equaling 10, so it's going to be 1 over 10, which equals 10 to the negative 1. For the next one, we're going to have 99 so it's going to be 1 plus 99 equaling 100. But don't forget to put the original dilution from the first one in there as well. So 1 over 10 times 1 over 100 equals 10 to the negative 3. For the next one, we also have another 1 to 99. But don't forget to add in the other dilutions. So we have 10 to the negative 3 from the last ones. And you're going to multiply that by 1 over 100, which is also equal 10 to the negative 2. And you're going to add those up, and it's going to be 10 to the negative 5. We're going to take that 10 to the negative 5, which includes all the previous ones, and we're going to multiply it by this one, which is 1 plus 9 equaling 1 over 10, which is also considered 10 to the negative 1. You're going to add those together, the exponents together, and it's going to equal 10 to the negative 6. Now we'll be moving on to the next problem. So here, this is very similar to the last two. We're going to have the original sample, and we're going to do one milliliter into each te following test tube. So for the first one, we're going to have 1 plus 99 equaling 100. So it's going to be 1 over 100. There's two zeros, so that equals 10 to the negative 2. And then we're going to dilute that again, one milliliter into 9. So we're going to take that previous 10 to the negative 2. We're going to multiply that by 1 over 10, which equals 10 to the negative 1. And once you multiply those together, the exponents are added up. And we're going to get 10 to the negative 3. For the next one, we're going to do another 1 and 9, which is 1 over 10. So we're going to have the previous 2 equaling 10 to the negative 3. We're going to multiply that by 1 over 10, or 10 to the negative 1, whatever you're more comfortable with and it's going to be 10 to the negative 4. Here's an example from our lab book on dilution schemes. It's basically like we're, what we were doing before, but we're going to have to add a few more elements to it. In this case, we're going to have to use 10 to the negative 2, 10 to the negative 3, 10 to the negative 4, and 10 to the negative 5 plates. And we're going to have to derive those from the skills we had learned previously. And we're also given that we have 75 CFUs, or colony forming units, on that 10 to the negative 3 plate we're going to have to label the plates TNTC and TFTC, basically meaning too numerous to count and too few to count. An important microbiology rule is that you only want to count the plates with 25 to 250 colonies. 25 or below would be about too few to count, and too above 250 is too numerous to count. So let's get started here. We're going to draw a few test tubes. We're going to need four of them. As you can see, we have four different dilution factors. So 
So we're gonna have to start off with a 10 to the negative two. So we're gonna have, we're gonna need 99 milliliters. And we're gonna always have one milliliter and pipette it into each test tube. And here's the original sample. So one plus 99 would be one over 100, equaling 10 to the negative two, like we had done earlier. So you can label that 10 to the negative two. We're gonna take one milliliter and pipette it into this one. And we're gonna go negative three, negative four, and negative five. So we're gonna need nine milliliters in each one of these. So we're gonna take the previous one, 10 to the negative two. We're gonna multiply that by one plus nine equaling 10. So it'd be one over 10, which is also 10 to the negative one. So this would be 10 to the negative three. We're gonna do the same thing with each one. So we're gonna take the previous, 10 to the negative three. We're gonna multiply it by 10 to the negative one, equaling 10 to the negative four. And again for the last one, 10 to the negative four, which is the previous, times 10 to the negative one, with the one milliliter going in. And that would be 10 to the negative five. Now also, we're gonna show the plates on here as well. And we can just use rough sketches for these. So we're given that we have 75 CFU or colony forming units on the 10 to the negative 3 plate. So here's 10 to the negative 3. We're going to write down 75 CFU. And now we want to determine how much colonies are in the preceding one and each one after that. So in order to get from 10 to the negative 3 to to 10 to the negative 2, we're going to add a 0, so it's 750 colonies, approximately. Now, to go in this direction, we're going to go from 10 to the negative 3 to 10 to the negative 4, move the decimal place, it would be around 7 to 8 colonies. And this isn't exact, this is about approximate. And to get from 7 to 8 colonies on the 10 to the negative 4, we're going to bring it to 10 to the negative 5, and it would be about 0 to 1 colonies. From here, we can label these the TNTC, too numerous to count, and TFTC, too few to count. So remember the rule, below 25 is too few to count, and above 250 is too numerous to count. So, with this one, it's clearly above 250, so it's T, too numerous, to count, TNTC. This one is right in the right amount of range, so we're gonna keep this one regular. And we, for this one, we're gonna have less than 25, so too few to count. And this one's also definitely too few to count. So this would be our countable plate, which is the whole point of doing a dilution scheme.